Balls flying at West Aurora host Blackhawks and James McGrath season opener against Wabonzi. Warriors without Mike Simmons and Luke Furman, they're out with injuries. Warriors still power through the first set, up 11-6. John Pine bringing the pain. 12-6 Warriors, they take it 25-19. Second set of seesaw battle, McGrath cues Rob Riggle in the face on Tyler House. But House would get retribution a few points later. Spike partially blocked, but it gets the job done. After that, we're tied at 14. Pine still not happy about the face job earlier. Tim Lambert hits the deck, 15-14 Dub V. Now 18 all pine once again putting in the work, 1918 Warriors. But Wabonzi squandered their opportunity and the Hawks put the set away. Lambert spiked too much to handle, 27-25 set winner. Al Lager not happy. But Bonzi regroups for the decisive set. Connor Dalville takes over, first skying for the teardrop. Then another kill to close it out. He was clutch. Warriors get the opener. Set one and set three, we did a much better job of blocking than we did in set two, and that's what inevitably got the, got the match for us, our, our ability to block a little bit better. I was just telling all the guys that to focus on uh, not trying to lose, but trying to actually go out and win the game, and just we were kind of down on ourselves, so I made sure that we played well and just tried to stay positive. It doesn't matter who, who the better team is, what the skill level is, no matter whenever we play Tolis. Tolis used to play for me, he was on my first team, so we always know it's going to... Every time we come here and he comes to my place, we always know it's going three. It's just a matter of, it's, it's one of those things, you can't explain it, but it's always a good thing. 